last year or two years ago and you asked me what launcher should I get for my new phone I would have given you one simple answer and said go and download Noah launcher in fact I loved Noah launcher so much that I paid for their prime package and look don't get me wrong Noah launcher is still a good launcher it's not bad or anything in fact I can confirm that it is the most stable launcher so far and that makes sense it's been out for so long a lot of bugs have been fixed and it's the most stable launcher but in terms of innovation it is nowhere near the top because I noticed that you know around last year Noah stopped including new features so Noah launcher has been kind of built around the Google stock launcher that's what they're trying to give you they're trying to give people who have Samsung phones or people with skinned OS's the experience of having a stock OS and the problem is with the Google Pixel, the new blur effect started coming in, the spring effect started coming in, and those Pixel 2 features were never added onto Nova Launcher. And because of this, a new wave of applications came along that were actually trying to do exactly what Nova does, but on top of that, they were going to add the new features that no one ever did add. And I actually ended up trying out a lot of these applications. A lot of them were good, but the biggest issue that I had was with the stability of the application. And that's why I always kind of went back to Nova every once in a while. And I finally settled on using this one application that I'm going to show you in a second. And I've been using this for a few months and it has been super stable for me at least. And it has most of the features that Noah offers and includes more stuff on top of that. So let's take a look at my setup, what it can do and all that good stuff. And yeah, let's get started. Now real quick, I'm going to show you guys how you can actually get the launcher application. So it's in the Play Store, links are in the description, but this is the Wii One. So it's more oriented towards the Pixel 1 version. But as you can see, this is the Pixel 2 design. So to get that, you need to join a Telegram group. So links are in the description. And if you join the group, you can download the launcher V2 APK. And if you keep scrolling down, you can find this thing that says launcher feed or lawn feed. What this is, this is basically their version or the integration application that is needed for the Google Now integration. So as you can see, this is my launcher setup and I've gone with the super minimalistic dark effect to it. And I really like the vibe it gives out. And as you can see, it has the Google Now integration and all that stuff. So let's jump into the settings. So the first thing we have is called theme. So let's go into that and look at the icon pack. So the one I'm running is called Polycon. Links from the description. It's a really awesome free icon pack that you can get. So one of the best things that you can actually change is the launcher overall theme. So you can match it with the wallpaper, you can have a light effect, but what I like to go with is the most dark effect which uses the OLED black. This looks really clean especially if you're going with the dark vibe. You can also have a dark search bar which will look like that as you can see on the top. That looks super nice and yeah. You can also add stuff like a voice search button right next to that same search bar that I showed you and you can have blur effect and all that stuff so I like my blur effect because that's something special about this launcher. So in the desktop features you can actually change your grid size so that you can make your setup look something like this. You can also turn on and off the display Google app feature so you can either turn this on or off but I think it's really cool it's a nice Google feed which you know is only supported by a very few custom launchers. So after that, you can also change stuff like whether you want to hide icon labels on the home screen, change the size of the icons, and something else you can actually do is choose to show notification dots on your home screen. So if you give it notification access, you will see a small dot on the app if there's a certain notification that is inside the app. The next thing is home widget, and this is basically the Google at a glance widget. And you can change what shows up on it and what doesn't, and yeah, you can. it's just a, it's just a widget customizer right there. So in the dock features, you can change how it looks, but I like to keep it too rounded because that's basically what the Google Pixel 2 has. You can also have the option of going with the gradient dock or not, whichever one you want to do, but always have dock shadow on. That's super nice. 
and try to keep the dark corner radius to whatever is default because that's the closest you can get to the official one. You can also have stuff like the show arrow like I just showed you and just turn off both of them because it looks better that way. You can also have a two row dock but I think that looks super ugly. If you want two rows just put it normally, don't make your dock longer, I just think it looks super ugly. So let me go ahead and turn off the two row dock. Or Okay, there you go. And also you can have stuff like slow search bar in the dock and the colored Google icons. So there you go. Those are the colored Google icons. I personally like to keep them turned off, especially because of my dark theme, but you can have them on. So in the app drawer, you can change more stuff like hiding applications. So you can choose to hide certain apps in the app drawer. You can show the search bar or not. That's the one I was talking about. And also you can change the search bar to be either a Google search or an app search. So more things include having an app suggestion row. I like to keep this turned off, but this is how it kind of looks like. There you go on the top right there. I think it's just really ugly. So I have that turned off. You can also choose to have your work app separated from the rest of your app. So that'll be cool if you are good at organizing. So heading down into gestures, we have a lot of different things we can set, but let's talk about double tap. So over here, we can do something like double tap to open app drawer, double tap to sleep if you have root access, double tap to do anything pretty much you want. But let's go ahead and set it to a certain application. So double tap to open an app and let's see what app do we choose? Okay, let's go with Google. Or no, let's go with the calculator app. So when I go onto my home screen and double tap on it, it'll go to my calculator as you can see. So that's a really neat feature that I think is super useful. However, keep in mind, this is also available in Noah Launcher. So it's not super special. So you can also go into the backups tab and over here you can create backups and restore your setup or your layout or whatever you want to say. So one thing that I want to say is, yes, this is super similar to Noah Launcher, but look at this. This is the scroll or the, you know, the spring effect that Google Pixel 2 has. And that's something that we don't have on Noah Launcher, which I think is super cool. And even the search bar on the top of the app drawer is something special that Noah Launcher doesn't have. Look at that search bar. We don't have that on Noah Launcher. This is definitely a special for Launcher. So yeah, that is Launcher. It's a really neat application. All right, guys, that is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for making it all the way to the end. If you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and also turn on post notifications to be notified when I release future content. And yeah, that is it. This is Tech Alpha signing out with today's video. See you guys in the next one. Peace.